become Larry Shover. He's in the pits of the CME. Peter Sacchini is going to tell us why it's going to be hard for the U.S. to avoid a recession, giving certain circumstances. And Scott Fries says to avoid technology. We just talked about that because of Apple. Yes, Apple. Let's start with Larry at the CME. Larry, we were talking about how we had a couple of couple of down days. It looked like we had a clear direction. And then today, where there's no, no clear direction at all. What's going on? What's going on is there's a million reasons why the market went down Monday through Wednesday, and today there's a variety of excuses on why it bounced. No one seems to know, to know right now. In reality, you have to keep in mind, this is just a lot of background noise right now. We're in this range between 1430, 1470, and until we see a major catalyst, just, just keep in mind we're going to stay in this range. We just need to have something to change the narrative of the market narrative of the market okay well guess what we know that the market is a a living breathing thing that changes from day to day i mean just crossing the flat line more than 22 times in the last hour today what would an investor who figures out that they can't really find direction on any given day do when it comes to this i mean what looks like a sure thing well, to me, a sure thing. There's no sure thing. There's no no sure things ever death and taxes. But what I'd keep in <laughs> mind is I would not, I, I would not, not, not underestimate the power of the Federal Reserve. Mm. Keep in mind right now that 14 times P/E earnings, a 7% nominal yield in the equity market, is suddenly very, very compelling compared to cash, compared to REITs, compared to U.S. Treasuries. So, coast is clear. Investing never makes sense. Preparing for Armageddon never makes sense. I would say very close to normal. Normal equity valuation right now, but stay with the big names that are paying dividends. I think that's going to help for years to come. Larry, what about oil? We saw another pop today, over 1%. A lot of people say this thing is overbought. What do you say? I'm sorry, I, I missed that. Oil, oil. Is it, is it overbought? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it continues its climb, and some people say there's just not the demand for it. Well, you know, supplies are shrinking. Refinery margins have widened a little bit. Keep in mind also the problems we're seeing in Turkey and also the U.S. dollar reversal today. That's poising for a corrective rally in oil. I personally expect oil to climb just a little bit further because they will find demand somewhere. It might not be in Europe, but it's going to be somewhere. So I do expect oil to be a little bit higher three months from now than where it is today. Larry Schober at the CMA. We're going to be checking back with Larry in a couple of minutes. Thank you. As the S&P futures close. Thanks a lot, Larry. So let's bring in our market panel. Perfect. 11 seconds away from the S&P futures pits closing right now. Let's head back to Larry Schober at the CME. How does it look, Larry? Well, you know, right now, one thing I do know, we're in a transition phase. And what I mean by that, we're in a very, very tight range. And I'll tell you, the longer we stay in this tight range, the faster and the more furious the next move is going to be. But we don't know how long this transition phase between 1430 and 1470 is going to last. I could think of 10 reasons why this market should go down. However, it doesn't. The next move in this market is going to be something that we least expect. So just stay underweight right, equities, yeah, but yeah. stay the course. The anticipation is killing me, not to mention millions of investors out of there. Larry, thank you very much. It is time.